Let me start that back up. Sorry about that for some. Um, so um, AMAT is making a J-hook continuation pattern. Now, uh, again, remember, I've set this to a two-day chart rather than here's your one-day chart and you get your big gap up. What I've done is two-day chart, smooths it out, and it gives us what I think is a truer picture of the chart. So looking at AMAT here, uh, we've cleared that first target up here. We're headed for the second target of about 117.80 something. There's the 200 period moving average, which is a target in itself. And then 152 up here for AMAT. Overall, I see a nice bottom in this AMAT chart. Nice J-hook continuation pattern. All right, let's look at ARDX. Um, again, this is set to the two-day chart. Let's look at the one-day chart. See how the one-day chart, uh, which the, on this particular one, it's not so bad. It didn't really you know, gap up and pull back. But I'm looking at everything on a two-day chart. Two-day chart, I see a big pop to the upside. I see a roll back here. Man, that looks like one of those J-hook patterns, doesn't it? I love those. Uh, they're continuation patterns. Uh, and what are they a continuation of? The trend. So I love those patterns. PBOs, pullback, pullback opportunity is what that is. Um, so anyway, here we are. Boom. You can see we've got a morning star signal in here. Um, here's the combination of two candles. And then here is this morning candle. Looks to me like it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, target one is this 213. This is where we came to, so that's why this is not a target. That that helps to get to the target. First target up here around that 213. Give a you know a penny or two here and there. Then up here around 230, then 265, then three bucks. This is one chart that we are in, nice and green, working out really nice so far. Um, FIVN, look at that. Um, you know, there's only. There's only a couple bottoms that a person has to um, focus on. Um, charts, when, when you see charts bottom out, there's really only a couple bottoms. It, it, there really, really is. Um, you can get into all kinds of, uh, let's see, where's my crayons? There they are. You can get into all kinds of names if you want. Uh, but the reality is, if you see a down move, if you see it, just start moving sideways and then if you see it start moving up it's just a bottom okay now if you want to get fancy you can do that too you can come in here and say hey man i see a bottom i see an inverted head and shoulders yahoo that's nice here's a chart pattern i like uh which is nothing more than a head and shoulders let's see yeah <laughs> inverted head and shoulders that's all it is it's just a little fancier, but I think I like that. Um, when we break out of this top here, that's where it gets bullish, and you can see that bullishness has started. Uh, the 50 period moving average is right up here. Keep in mind, this is a two day chart, so the 50 is in a different place on the daily. So, right now, I'm just looking at the two day chart. Um, bottom line, price doesn't change. I mean, the price highs are the price highs. So we need to get through that. But I happen to think this is a very nice looking chart. And, um, uh, well, we'll keep everybody posted on it. Here's GEO. GEO, we talked about this one yesterday. Nice, beautiful trend here. Don't know why I have that line right there. Here's your rally up, and here's your setup for a possible J-hook. I'm actually going to put that line right here. Remember, J-hook continuation pattern is where you run up and there's your J. And it becomes a J hook when it breaks out. We call this a J hook just because we're trying to push the envelope a little bit. And we see it, we see it building, we see what it is, and then we want to be part of it. So this is starting to look like a pretty nice chart that I might want to be part of uh, to try to either catch you know, position in here, well, anywhere from here to here, or even that breakout. Ultimately, what we want is that position. We, we want to be there for that position. 
Uh, another one is NEM. I like the way this is holding up. Two targets of them up here, about 51 and a quarter, then about 53 uh, and 50, and then I would reevaluate from that level. Um, I like the way, you know, again, you get in these fancy bottoms. There's all sorts of things you can call them. Rounded bottoms, fry pan bottoms, hootie tootie bottoms, you know, whatever bottom you want to call them. It's just a bottom. Don't overthink too much in a chart. Please don't do that. It's just a bottom. So I see the bottom forming. I see us rally up from this low to a high. Did you know that all bottoms, all bottoms, every bottom will have a low, high, higher, low, higher, higher, high in it? Did you guys know that? Every single bottom. Did you know that a, that a bottom that is created with just a low, high, higher, low m might not be rounded up like this? But all rounded bottoms, all flat bottoms, always have a low, high, higher, low, higher, high. Every single one of them. So, here we are, down, 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 down. Bulls and bears fighting, bulls and bears fighting. All of a sudden, we come in here and push that low in there. Boom. Low is in. Where's my... There it is. Low is in. We get a high. We get a low. We get a high. We get a higher, lot, higher low. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how your engine starts right there. We're over the 50-period moving average. This is a rounded bottom breakout. Nice chart. APA is on my list. Keep in mind, this is a two-day chart now, two-day chart. APA is on my list. Big, big, big candle here, and it looks like we're holding up this morning. Um, I'm going to see, I'm going to need to see a little bit more love in here, a little more confirmation, and I would like the feds actually to call in sick this afternoon. Um, that's not going to happen, probably, so... Don't know if I want to be too involved until the feds get out of here. But this is one that I'm definitely looking at. Hal, now for those that don't know Hal, we bought Hal yesterday morning. And I sold it yesterday because uh, I was just too risky going into today. But if I can put 11% in my pocket in one day, hey, I'm okay with that. It bought beans last night. So I'm happy with that. Besides, there's a couple, couple candles up here that I think are... Uh, could be uh, could be troublesome, and I just didn't need that trouble because I'm not worried there will be another entry. Uh, anyway, nice candle uh, right in here, and it looks like we're holding up today. It's very possible that energy uh, steps the game up. We'll we'll have to see. It's a little early on that yet. A uh, GSK GSK here. We talked about this yesterday. Um, Looks like it's setting up pretty nice. Uh, a rounded bottom breakout. Uh, here we're rising. Um, you know, we're, we're up. We're doing that pullback. I, it just, th this is one of those charts where don't talk about what's good about it. Try to find something bad about it. That, that's what you want to do. Yeah. The next one is FNGU. I love FNGU. I love to follow FNGU. Um, this is uh, big tech, and uh, big tech makes a difference. So you can see here we've got this low, this high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. It's working. It's working. Now we've got an inside day here. Beautiful T-line run right now. Trindicator's green. We're headed up here. Uh, for that 50 period moving average, uh, that'll make it a rounded bottom breakout. John, yes, I know I'm on a two-day chart. Everything was done today on a two-day chart. And the reason for that is the one-day chart is too stupid. I, I'm it's just that simple. When you throw yesterday's candle in there, it, it just, th there is, there is nothing to talk about on yesterday's candle but yet everybody will focus on it. Yesterday's candle means absolutely nothing but good. I, I know it's crazy. 
Yesterday's candle is nothing but positive and good, but everybody will focus on the fact that it's negative. There's not one negative thing about yesterday's candle. But because it's red, or black in my case, and because it opened here and closed here, everybody gets their panties in a wad. Well, let's, let's, let's don't get our panties in a wad. Put it on a two-day. What do you know? You got a great day now. Just a happy-go-lucky day. So, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm aware of that. Take a look at XLE coming off that 50-period moving average. We start showing a little positive strength. I could see something in XLE. Now, this is a top here, all right? This is a top. So, when I look at charts like this, I'm going to put another line up here. There's a double top. When I look at charts like this, the reality is I'm serious. And for those that struggle, for those that have a hard time, especially for those people that are new in trading, for God's sakes, get off the starting line. Go back into the gym, rechange your clothes, take a shower, cool off, do something like that. You know, eat a Snickers bar, chill on the starting line. What I'm trying to say is you don't have to be in this to make money. First of all, that's a top. Take notice. This is not a reversal candle yet. It is not a reversal pattern yet. What we need to see is great candle, great Haromi here. It is. Now we need to go up. You have got a massive amount of possible resistance here. So don't, don't run in to the knives. Don't run in to the knives. Let it move up. Let it look at everything over here. And you know what it's going to do? It's going to get sheepish. It's going to dip its head down. It's going to walk away a little bit. I know this. And then what it's going to do, it's going to pick itself up and say, hey, what the heck? I can get through there. Then it can get through there. Now we can start looking at it. Ultimately, this chart has got to get through 93.80 up here before it can make any money. So if your life is all around that trade right there, you're likely not to make it in trading. This falls under the category of eat like a bird and poop like an elephant. So what we really want to do is where can it go up here? I'm going to look at the weekly chart once. There we go. There we go. How about we do that? There you go. So now... We start looking at a breakout, and I don't necessarily mean an absolute breakout. We start moving up where we're going to challenge those tops. I'm all about it. And now we have a move to the 100 up here, $100 space. All I'm saying is don't rush into the game yet. There is not a buy signal here yet. Not just yet. All right. Good luck, everybody. I do appreciate everyone here. Thank you so very much. Good morning, Aaron, John, Fred. Uh, let's see, Slim, I think, Steph. I think, I think I said good morning to everybody else. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you leave today, I wouldn't blame you. I would come back later, like at 2 p.m., uh, for the live trading alerts um, uh, webinar that, well, I think everybody should attend myself. All righty, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you in about, what, 20 minutes, something like that, 15 minutes. Take care, everyone.